So who was this legendary uh, producer oh, yeah, that we are done. speaking of? Yeah. Well, it's Garth Richardson, fellow Canadian record producer out from the West Coast. I mean, he's legendary record producer, and but also he can now be known as the Revenge King. Legendary uh, Revenge King, maybe. The le- <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the LRK, yeah. we could call him. Uh, yeah, no, he, um, he shared some really kind of off the wall revenge stories with us. Yeah. Uh, I think we, we kept a couple of them in the interview. Yeah. Um, but there was one that we cut out mostly for time and because mm-hmm. it wasn't really, you know, that's not the, the subject of the interview. So that's what we're, this B-Sides is about, sharing some of these extra bits as well as new things and, you know, a whole bunch of different things that we aren't able to share with you in the interview. This is an example of some of the stuff we'll be sharing on B-Sides. So uh, enjoy. I actually had my engineer who it was my actual birthday we went out to the strip club and I was up on dance floor and 17 girls lined up to give me the actual patty wax. And all, all of a sudden, you know, like the first girl slaps me, happy birthday. You got the next girl takes off my belt and kind of hits me in the back with the belt. I'm like, Oh, that's kind of hurt. And the actual next girl was a full dominatrix, uh, you know, thing. And she hit me and she went, whack, you know, like came back and went, oh, that kind of hurt, but it kind of, you know, actually was like, oh, you know, okay, good, cool. (laughs) This, this, this next girl just, just unleashed the belt as hard as she could. My actually shirt ripped, had a welt, welt on my back, this big blood everywhere. I'm in tears. I went, (laughs) let go that hurt. So my friend who actually sets all up, my engineer just kind of was looking at me, you know, he, and he was in tears laughing and I said, I will get you back. So nine years later, oh. I, I, I'm in <laughs> Queens and every day, these two New York City beat cops came by to have lunch. They were metal fans. They love metal. So, you know, so of course, I'm actually talking to them. So I go, hey, guys, I'd like you to do me a big, a big f- favor. What? Well, my engineer's coming here in about three three days. Would you mind taking him back to the airport? So he comes in the day and he's working away and these two fully clothed New York City, you know, guns and batons, they, you know, they, they had a paper with his name, name on it. And they, you know, into the room, would you be Mr. You know, blah, blah, blah. And he said, yes, I am. Well, as it turns out, somebody actually called us you got to go back, back to Canada. You are being, you, you know, you know, being thrown out of the States. And I was in cuffs up against the wall and I was being frisked and he's, and he's walking down the hallway and you can, he's like, yeah, I've known Garth for a long time, you know, and, and he was literally shaking, shitting his pants. He was being thrown out of the States. And um, I turned around in and actually full, you know, cuffs and went, Sir, you have been punked. And he was literally shaking his hands. Like he was literally like for like three days. He was just, he, he could not believe it. So, so, so the lesson here is don't piss off Garth because do not, he you might you even wait nearly I won't get you to get back to you. <laughs> I'm going to wait nine years. You hold I up for a long nine game. Years. Well, you know, you know, you got Sometimes to. Sometimes you have to, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 